Right? Ons allemaal ken nog dit Blanche familie. People used to ride around in the streets safely. They used to drive around with their donkey carts and it was fine. When the school had a festival, the uh, beauty queens had to sit on the donkey carts. That was something beautiful because many people didn't have cars except the Fiat and the Corona that my parents and their colleagues drove. And when there was a wedding, the bride rode on the back of the donkey cart. I remember when Mike Dixon and Rulin Windvogel got married. We all know Mickey and Rulin. Rulin was sitting on the back of the donkey cart and she was the most beautiful bride. Um, my sister and Alicia and I had to sit around a table at home in the afternoons and do our homework every afternoon before we could go out and play with our friends. I must tell you how strict my mother was. Of course, my mother was a teacher and my father was a teacher. Even holiday times, we had a timetable. So I couldn't just sleep late holiday times and go visit my friends. We were woken, we had a timetable. Eight o'clock, lay the table. Do this, do that for breakfast. Wash the dishes afterwards. Lee, go and play piano, go and practice this, go and do that. We had to practice, we had to do certain things. Alicia, go and sweep the yard. Lee, go and do this. We had to do certain things. After we were done, we could go and play with friends or we could have friends over. My mother was very strict. We even had a timetable, holiday times. On a Sunday morning, I had to get up early and I had to go to church when the first church bell rang at 7.30. The church, first church bell of St. Mary's Anglican Church. I had to walk to church with my grandmother at 7.30. I had to go and sit with my grandmother right in front in church at the Mother's Union. I was probably the first little boy who was part of the Mother's Union. I had to sit there with my grandmother Bertha. And when my parents and my sister arrived at church around about 8 o'clock, I had to slip away from the old ladies, from my grandmother, and I had to go and sit with my parents. We had lots of fun. We were strict. We were, we, we were reared strict in a very strict way. And that's why children had so much discipline in their lives. And we were proud about that. It was a different era. Our family had dinner around a table every evening. And we laid the table neatly, like in a restaurant. First I had to clean the table, then put the placemat, then two forks, then two knives in this. It was laid like in a restaurant. So it shows the people lived in a different era and they taught their children differently. We rolled on the grass, we played safely outside and I pray that New Horizons will become the peaceful place again that it's used to be. I pray that New Horizons will be a residential area that live up, lives up to its name, New Horizons. And I hope you enjoyed my little contribution that I have because I love the place that I live. I've been born and bred in New Horizons and to me it's a great honor. I love my town, I love the residential area that I live in and I love my country. So thank you for listening to me. God bless you all. In Kosi Sikilele, Africa.